Hi everyone, here's Anne and we are back to playing the Tinderweed Park. The last time we got to the idea how to get the map, which Sheriff demands to have if you would like to leave the premises of the city center, and we got stuck that the copier is going to ask for asking for the nickel and the willy is asking for the wallet which we need to get from the red soap so we need to go outside it looks pretty dark down there i can't see anything there but it's pretty stinky and i have an idea how it's an empty soda bottle five cent deposit in Michigan, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Yes. We would like to give you a bottle because we'll get a nickel for it. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. I would look at shiny nickel. Not a good humor, I would say. Uh, we need to street A. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the mansion doing nothing suspicious. Woman by the mansion. All Attention units. all units. Woman. All the state. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. You Don't you touch my map. You will be still short on story, don't worry. So let's go back. You are picking up the map. And we will uh, use map on our copy drone. What a nice copy, and in color too. I will be scared. Good. Uh, okay. So, ah, I see. Use this one back to the frame. She's not coming back. So let's go out. We need to talk to Ratsu. Outskirts. Oh, open all night. Go, 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 go. Here, there is some kind of bench. This is a hold. There is a cold bench. What? Whoa, there, little agent of Reno. Well, the law of Reno is the law of Reno. No wandering around without a map. Uh, I have an official map right here. No, oh, I, I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit, Reno. Hmm. Odd. 
I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the Quickie Pal. into part two? When? How? I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need a lot of things. We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need a blood match. Using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need a fingerprint match. Using the finger tron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book. Okay, but we don't know what is a freaking. No, we don't know what is the. We need to identify the body. Using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We don't know what is the murder weapon, so... Let's get cracking. <sighs> You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? What nonsense. My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope, but this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. Again? He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. And Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. I only have the original. I need a copy to give to the investors. Okay, so should I go somewhere else? Not enough time to leave the hotel area. Too much to get done before the investors arrive. I have no idea what they're doing. I have no idea what they're doing. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. That's creepy, actually. 
Words don't do it justice. It looks better from this side. Really? Oh, that's hit by. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. you quit playing that music? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? No. Hey, dude, what's your damage? My damage. Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. Strange. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. Yeah, right. I'm so sure. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Okay. Your shoes are not the latest and greatest. What's your damage? Of course! They're totally awesome! I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this clearly do I know this gnarly dude who... Whoa. Was on MTV. Was on MTV and... Tells me what's hip, daddy -o. Get real. I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser. Ooh, okay, I will try it I would again. totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and...
I know some peeps who... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there! No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! Okay, so I was... I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Gnarly dude who... I know this gnarly dude who... Was, was on me? MTV and... Tells me what's sweet. OMG. YOLO. Hashtag trust me. Get real. I'm like totally stopping you right there. Hey, no one who's tight would talk like that. You, no way I do think... you know what's rad right now, poser. Uh, I would totally know what was the latest or... and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's Come the greatest on, right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who was on MTV and tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then. I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Oh. I'm from the first, I nearly did it. I'm good. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. But I'm still going up. That's uh, strange. It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. It's an unplugged TV. Pick it up. I don't want to pick that up. Really? Then use it. Someone must have left it here. It's not plugged in, and I can't see anywhere to plug it in. It's hotel stationery. That is, it's a mostly blank piece of paper. It's turned off. It's turned off. An unmade bed. Okay, don't worry. Looks like the other painting. I don't want to pick that up. Who's the fairest of them all? The lid of a toilet. Things don't get more amazing than that. It's getting dark out there now. That's completely the same. It's turned off. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. It's now showing hospital hijinks. 
I turned it off. Okay. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. Tray for the smokers. It doesn't work at all. Okay. The... That doesn't seem to work. It's already open. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Okay. Seven. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. So, the door is completely in disarray. The doors are closed. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Doors are closed. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. 
I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. The doors are closed. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Yes, I did it so yet. Okay, there are a lot of broken. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with the hotel's letterhead. The elevator's still moving. Reporting my every move back to Chuck. I don't want to let him know what I'm up to. Okay. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. for me I don't have the time for you ah oh, don't you just love this music hey dude what's your damage okay Use. I'm not using that Chuck's probably monitoring every keystroke 
bell for calling the sheriff. I mean, hotel manager. Hello, Mr. Edmund. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. That doesn't seem to work. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with the hotel's letterhead. I can't. It's my precious, dazzling four pages. doesn't work with that. I'm really going to... Not enough time to leave the hotel area. Too much to get done before the investors arrive. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will leave this for the next time because I'm starting to get really tired. And this solution will take probably a little bit of investigation. So, see ya later. See ya later.